What's up guys? Uh, new video for the YouTubes. So today I want to talk about HRV for training, the app, and what I've learned from using it over the last few months. So um, full disclosure, I'm not affiliated with uh, HRV for training. I've had Marco Altini on the podcast. Uh, it was a very fun chat. And uh, I believe I had started using the app a little bit before that. So this is not a uh, an endorsed ad or anything like that. It's really just my perspective on using the app um, since about September of last year. And I've, I've used it almost daily. Uh, there's maybe a handful of times where I didn't take my measurements, but honestly, I think I maybe missed five of them over the last six months plus. So um, I've been very consistent uh, with using it. So for those who don't know what it is, HRV for training, is an app that allows you to take your heart rate variability measurement in the morning uh, with the camera of your phone. So you don't need to put a heart strap on uh, or a chest strap on, and it's been validated against the Polar, Polar H10, which um, for those who don't know, it's probably one of the most accessible and accurate um, heart rate straps available currently at least for under a hundred bucks. To my knowledge, at least, it's probably the best one you can get. Um, I like it as well because the H10, because you can sync it to multiple apps at the same time where others are um, only, you can only sync to one app. Uh, so, well, depending on how many measurements you want to take and which apps you're using, it can be practical to have it in multiple places, but that's not the topic here. So HRV for training, you wake up in the morning, uh, obviously, you want to be consistent with the measurements. So you always want to do it in the same position and uh, at the same time. So you don't want to do it once before coffee, once after coffee, uh, once an hour after you wake up, once right after you wake up, once sitting down, once lying down. So I take mine, I take mine lying down. I usually get up in the morning, have a drink of water, go to the bathroom, come back into bed, sit there for a minute or two, let everything come back to baseline and then take my measurement and then move on with my day. Um, so that's usually how it goes. At, at the beginning, it, it was a little bit tricky to get the measurements right. But what I found is simply kind of pinching the phone so that I have my index on the camera on the back and then pinching the front lightly. So I'm not pressing hard, but I'm just holding and kind of pinching the phone and then having my arm obviously rested by my side and the phone on my lap or my leg, whatever it is, on my belly. Um, it's very stable and it doesn't move and I get a good measurement uh, every time now. I, at the beginning, it was a little tricky the first couple times, but essentially you just have to find a consistent position where you can have your hand or your finger on the camera and then uh, the measurement takes one minute. So it's short and uh, you can decide if you want to display the score or not right away. Uh, so there's this measurement of heart rate and heart rate variability. And then there's also a little questionnaire about when you went to sleep, when you woke up, uh, how you feel, what you did the day before in terms of training, in terms of intensity and modality, etc. You can enter quite a few details in there. And then again, yeah, how you feel. So uh, kind of mental, mental clarity or freshness, uh, fatigue, mood, soreness. Uh, are you sick? Did you drink last night? So you can enter all those things in the little questionnaire, which takes about, I would say maybe 10, 15 seconds to fill out in the morning. Uh, so yeah, a minute measurement, 10, 15 seconds for the questionnaire. And uh, so I've been doing that consistently now for uh, since September last year. And so here are the few things that I've been, uh, that I've learned. First of all, I want to say, I really like the simplicity of use of the app. Uh, I think Marco and his team did a great job on making it accessible and easy to use uh, because I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a stickler for uh, user experience. I think in today's world, if something's clunky and it doesn't work very well and you're, you're like, yeah, you have to wonder where to click or what to do, there's a problem uh, with the design. And so I haven't found anything in that regard on, on this app so far. So I'm really happy with that. So it's really easy to use. It's, it's 10 bucks, I believe, on the App Store. So it's not a free app. You have to pay for it. And there's also a pro version, I believe, where you can have an online platform with advanced analytics. I haven't looked into this yet. For now, I've just been using it for myself. And so what I've been able to garner from it is 
first of all, which is probably not a surprise to anybody, but the magnitude was a surprise to me is how much drinking alcohol disturbs my sleep and impacts my recovery in the morning. Um, I was in, I was a rugby player uh, years back. And so I know, I know a little bit about drinking and going to the pub. Uh, but I guess now I'm what, 33 and I definitely don't drink as much as I used to nowhere near. And when I do, it's usually not to the same extent that I used to, but still, I can still see a huge impact of alcohol consumption on my recovery. So I'll usually see uh, beats per minute, like heart rates easily between 15 and 20 beats higher than my baseline uh, the days after I've been drinking. And especially if I've been drinking late and uh, having bad sleep and, and alcohol really impacts my sleep. I just can't sleep well anymore when I drink. Um, and so that really translated into that really high heart rate. Like I said, 15 to 20 points above baseline, which is just massive. Um, and then just feeling like shit, obviously. So that's, again, not a surprise to anybody, but I just had, I just, before actually seeing those numbers, I never thought about the, the physiological impacts as much as I do now. Um, obviously, my, my perspective is a little bit different. Nowadays, that's kind of what I think about and what I'm interested in. So it's normal that I focus on it. But it was just, it was just, it's just such a, it's, it has such an impact. I was, I was quite surprised. Um, another thing that I've enjoyed is seeing the uh, changes in my uh, baseline heart rate over those few months. Uh, uh, before, before I started using the app, I wasn't training much at all. Uh, I had a back injury a couple years back and for a year and a half, two years, I was really limited by it. Um, obviously not doing anything was not the best option, but so I kind of picked up training again, um, regularly about in August last year. So after the summer and I really just focused on getting on the bike and getting some miles in. So uh, indoor, everything, almost everything indoor. Uh, I just enjoy being indoors and it also allows me to take some measurements when I want to. Um, but essentially what I've been doing since September is, I'd say three to five hours of zone two work weekly with a little bit of high intensity here and there, uh, but mostly that. And so an interesting trend that I've noticed and had I not tracked consistently over time, I probably wouldn't have noticed it, uh, but my baseline heart rate is it's significantly lower than it used to be. I, I started out uh, in, in September when I started using the app, my heart rate baseline was probably around 55. Um, 55 beats per minute in the morning, lying down, well rested. And uh, like I said, I would see numbers up to like 70, 75 sometimes after I had been drinking, uh, which is just so high. Anyway, um, and then over the last few months, it's actually come down quite significantly. And now if I'm well rested, I'm in the mid 40s. So I've seen, I've seen 43s, 44s uh, consistently when I'm well rested, 45, 46. So that's like, let's say eight, be conservative, let's say eight beats per minute lower uh, on average when I'm well rested uh, compared to, what is it now, seven, eight months ago. So yeah, about one beats per minute per month uh, with the, the low intensity work that I've been doing. Obviously feels so much better than I used to, uh, both in terms of recovery, in terms of work capacity. I feel like I can tolerate a lot more daily and and be be fine with it in terms of recovery so i've obviously felt all the positive uh benefits of low intensity work as many would have recommended to begin with uh but yeah seeing that lower heart rate is is really uh is really cool over those months um and yeah so having that tracked over time is is, is pretty interesting so for anybody interesting interested in seeing those long-term trends i think it's a worthwhile investment and then in terms of time, like I said, it's a minute and a half in the morning and then you're, you're on your way. Um, another thing that I've seen is obviously correlating how I feel to, uh, in terms of just uh, perception in the morning and then what's going on under the hood. 
So seeing what my HRV score is relative to how I feel. And then obviously not using that as the barometer of what I'm doing exactly, but I'm not competing uh, at the moment. I don't, I've got some personal goals, uh, but they're, they're not super strict. So uh, priority is on, on work right now. Uh, I'm, I'm obviously training, but I, I, I'm not fully, I don't I want to say I'm not fully dedicated because I am uh, pretty dedicated to my training, but I, yeah, I don't have any competitive goals at the moment. And so I'm, I'm a little bit more flexible with myself as I might be uh, compared to what I might do if I was aiming for a competition or, 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 or something um, maybe with a, with a stricter limit in time, which I don't at the moment. Uh, so I'm, I allow myself to be flexible. And if I'm not well recovered and if I have the choice in doing a high intensity session on one day or the next, well, then I might push it back uh, based on how I feel and based on what the app tells me. Not always, right? Uh, and uh, that's obviously you shouldn't just base your decision making on what the app tells you. That's not the point. Uh, but if you can correlate, oh, I feel like shit and my app is telling me that I'm not well rested um, and I hop on the bike and it feels harder than it should, then obviously you know that if you have the flexibility to do it, maybe it's better to push that workout, uh, that hard hard session one day or two. Um, so that's been interesting. And then another thing, correlating the numbers that I see and then sickness. So sometimes you wake up in the morning you don't feel too bad, but your HRV score is down the toilet. And then later during the day, you start coming up with like a headache or you start to feel sick. And then you think back and you're like, ah, that's what this shitty HRV score was. So it's almost like your, your body's already there. It's already, it's already feeling like shit, but you don't notice it right away. Or maybe it hasn't fully manifested um, outwardly, if I may use that term. Um, and so you don't yet know that you're actually, you're actually getting sick. Uh, so actually seeing that on a few occasions, too many to my, for my liking, um, over the last six months, but this beginning of this year has been a little bit ripe with that. Um, and I think that's for everybody. So I'll take it. Um, but it's, it's been interesting to see those changes and to see, oh yeah, okay, well, that's why the reading was terrible this morning. Uh, and then seeing the next day where it's still low and then seeing it go back up uh, either quickly or, or slowly, depending on how the recovery goes. Uh, but really just building a little bit more awareness. So the, the idea is not obviously to depend on the app, uh, but having it as kind of your, your uh, just some extra information that you can, that's practical to, to use and apply uh, in terms of your recovery and in terms of uh, again, understanding how you feel and what it means from an internal standpoint. I think those are probably the, the most interesting things that I've taken from the app. So I definitely recommend you check out the app if you haven't yet and track over the long run because it's obviously not something to do for three days. You, you need to have the long-term trends and the long-term uh, data collection if you want to be able to draw any kind of uh, conclusions or inferences from it. Uh, but I've really enjoyed the app. So thanks, Marco and, and his team for all of this. Uh, check it out and uh, I'll be interested to hear what you think about either the app itself or about HRV measurements in the morning. If you have a, uh, an opinion on it or some insights to share with everybody here, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure you leave us a like because it's free and you can always change your mind. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well as I'm starting to do more content in English. I hope you appreciate that. Uh, if you have topics you want me to cover, please leave a, uh, a comment below with that as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.